Yo, what's up YouTube? Today I'm going to show you my streaming setup for when I do my DJ streams through Twitch and then upload them to YouTube later on because Twitch isn't that strict when it comes to playing commercial music. So starting from the turntable here, this is a Techniques SL1200 MK5. You see the pitch lock or pitch reset button right there. Black version. I prefer black. This is uh, maybe around 22 years old today. And this is my other turntable. It's another Techniques turntable. It's the SL1200 Mark III, Japan only version. And then this is my uh, controller. I mostly use the controller these days it's easier you know i i stored all my records in another room now because it's just cluttering up this room i'm really happy with the the ddj 1000 from pioneer dj it's very easy to use and this is my e1705 from dell i bought it second hand and it it works perfectly with the record box record box dj software and i use also this my f1 controller from midi controller from tractor tractor dj i sold my old tractor controller and now i have this as you know additional controls for for record box effects and the sampler I uh, made this short tutorial about that in uh, another video. I'm going to link it down below. And for, uh, for streaming, of course, I use OBS. Currently, I have this uh, overhead camera, the Logitech C920. I ordered the C930. It's coming soon. I'll show it to you when, uh, when it comes. It has a wider uh, field of view. Also, this one, the Logitech G13, I use for uh, switching cameras. And this is my uh, second camera. I'm using the Supremo 4K Plus. I hated this camera for motovlogging, but it has a PC camera function, which the SJ Cam SJ Pro uh, 8s don't have. So that's a very, that's a plus thumbs up for this, for having that function. 2,000 pesos, you can have a streaming action camera. And it just works. It's not wide enough, but you know, this is the field of view. What you can see, and I can, of course, change the location of the camera. This is my Acer Aspire VX15. I use it for OBS, for gaming, for also for record box, and for work stuff, for video editing, motion graphics, etc. All is connected via this uh, USB, the very long USB cable right there, onto this uh, USB hub. I don't know if you can see. This is a USB hub right there, and. That's where the C920 and the Supremo 4K and the sound card, which is this uh, Behringer. I don't know if you can see that. Get out. Remove that. This is the Behringer USB Phono sound card. So how it's how is it connected? The output of this of the DDJ1000 is connected to the input of the Behringer output is connected to the AVR AVR powers these two speakers right here and the USB connection goes to that hub and goes inside here so if we play some tracks here Let's get the beat. Loop it. Loop the beat. 
So it's playing now. We should have sound, but there's no sound. Is it on? Oh, it's off. There, it's on. There. We're, we're currently playing a loop. So the sound should be here. But where is it? I need to refresh this again. Set it to USB, microphone 8 demo, that's the sound card. And there you go. And of course, it's connected to my Twitch channel. So I, if I just click start streaming, then we're going to be live on Twitch. But we're not going to do that today. I miss riding, man. I miss riding. Anyway, so that's my gear for live streaming on Twitch for my DJ mixes. I used to stream Fortnite, but now I just I stopped playing Fortnite. I just stream DJ mixes. What I do is I stream the DJ mix. I download the video file from off of Twitch. I layer in the recorded file because that's cleaner using an editing software. And that's what I upload to my YouTube channel, which is uh, which you can listen to in stereo sound. So that's it for my uh, quick sharing for today. Oh, I have a mic for doing shout outs, of course. And sometimes when I'm in the mood for some loud music, I use this, the Yamaha DVR15. PA speakers, but for indoors, I just use this Victor speakers right there, the pair. What else? Oh, my trusty Audio-Technica M50XS for monitoring. And you saw the cheap parlet light to add some red accent to the mixer right here. And the crystal ball in the back. So you can see some light streaks over over on the controller right there. And that's it. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, keep safe, especially during this lockdown. Stay home. Don't add to the spread of the whatever's, you know, being spread out there. And I hope this lockdown is over soon so we can start riding again, doing some motovlog stuff again. This has been DJ DLS. Thank you very much for watching. Click like, share, and subscribe. If you have any questions about my gear, ask me in the comment section. Thank you very much again and peace.